Let's take a look at how you can customize the program to your way of working by choosing Digital Photo Professional Preferences. While viewing this section of the tutorial, you'll hear me refer to features and functions that you may not know about yet. It might make sense to come back and listen to this section again once you're more familiar with the program. Just a suggestion. The first tab is for General Settings. Under Startup Folder, choose whether you'd like to see a specific folder every time you launch DPP, or if you'd like to see the last folder you were working with. Save Recipe refers to whether DPP automatically saves the adjustments you've made to the files in the folder, or shows you a dialog box each time you exit the program or move to another folder. Viewing and saving raw images gives you the choice to speed up your processing even though you reduce image quality. For producing quick proofs, this can be a real time saver. If you want to view your images at the highest possible speed, but are willing to let the processing take the time needed for the highest image quality, check the View Images at High Speed box. Keep in mind that the false color reduction processing, which is normally applied to the images on the screen, will be skipped and only applied when the image is processed. By checking the JPEG image quality box, you can reduce noise that sometimes occurs when raw images are converted to highly compressed JPEGs. This function also works when you're changing an existing JPEG and saving it with another name. Default value of output resolution sets the resolution at which the processed image will display when opened in a program like Photoshop. If you check the box under At EOS Utility Startup, the Edit Image window will automatically be displayed instead of the main window when you open EOS Utility, another useful program that comes free with Canon EOS Digital SLRs. Under the View Settings tab, Grid Pitch allows you to specify the grid spacing in a range of 8 to 256 pixels when the grid lines are displayed in the Edit window or the Edit Image window. If you check the Locking Selected Image box, images opened in the Edit window remain selected in the main window. Magnification in the Edit window gives you a choice of how large the selected image is displayed in the Edit Image window. Magnification in Edit window lets you choose how large the image is displayed when the Edit window is opened. With this next preference selection, you can decide when working in the Edit or Edit Image window how large an image becomes when it's double-clicked. RAW and JPEG lets you choose how images are displayed when you capture both RAW and JPEG files at the same time in the camera. If left in the default mode, the same image, one RAW and one JPEG, will be displayed next to each other in the main window. If this box is checked, only the raw image will be displayed, and you'll see a small R plus J icon just outside the bottom left corner of the image to let you know that there's a hidden JPEG file there too. If you select the box under Sort Order in Main Window, the order of the rearranged images is maintained, even if you quit DPP or select another folder. Highlight Shadow Warning is a very useful tool for maintaining detail in an image, it will display a warning when the value of highlight or shadow exceeds the value that you type into these boxes. Quick Check Tool Display lets you choose the size of your image when using the Quick Check tool. Note that if you choose 100%, the moiré reduction is turned off to maintain the speed of this feature. Moving on to the Tool Palette tab, the first choice to make is the default settings of the RGB Tone Curve mode. If you look at the tone curves available in the RGB tab of the Tool Palette, you'll see that the default setting is a choice of four different curves, red, green, blue, and red, green, blue together. You can change this to red, green, blue, and luminance. Being able to adjust the luminance curve independent of the color curves means that you can adjust the brightness and contrast of the image without affecting color like a red, green, blue curve combination might. I find that most people like to see their histogram display update when they make an adjustment, so they leave After Adjustment selected here. The normal interpolation method is Curve, but a straight tone curve interpolation is available should you need it. Next, choose whether you want the tool palette docked to the Edit Image window 
or if you'd like to be able to move it around by choosing Floating Display. If you adjust the picture style presets in the tool palette area of DPP, you can retain those settings for the next time you open the program, or by default, they will return to their initial settings. Check the box if you'd like the tool palette display mode to be the same in both the main window and the edit window. Here we are at the very important color management tab. This chosen color space is also what will be applied as the embedded color profile when a raw image is converted and saved. If you make a change here, you must restart DPP for the setting to take effect. Under CMS Settings for Print, you can make sure that colors on the monitor are reproduced faithfully by setting the correct monitor profile. Check the Monitor Profile button and then browse until you find your monitor profile. If you've never created a custom profile for your monitor, you may want to consider a relatively small investment in a profiling device. It will help ensure that what you see on your screen is an accurate representation of your image. If you choose a printing profile, that profile is applied to all printing done from DPP. You can simulate the look of one of four CMYK profiles when you choose from this drop-down list. The Rendering Intent When Using Easy Photo Print is set to a default of relative colorimetric. However, some images look better when Perceptual is set as the rendering intent. There's no hard and fast rule here, so I recommend sticking to the default setting unless you come across an unacceptable printed result.